A car is one of the biggest purchases a consumer will make. Depending on his lifestyle and needs, he might keep it for a lengthy period of time. The aftermarket guidelines, which became effective on 1 July 2021, have an impact on options for maintaining one's vehicle. We asked ABSA's Gordon Wood a few questions about this. What do these aftermarket guidelines really mean for the customer? Yeah, these guidelines give customers more decision-making power when it comes to using independent service providers for car services, maintenance and vehicle repairs. These guidelines have been welcomed in the industry by organisations such as the Automotive Business Council and the National Automobile Dealers Association. What are the objectives of these guidelines? They aim to make the vehicle after sales market more inclusive and level the playing fields for independent service providers. They introduce more transparency from original equipment manufacturers in terms of information about value-added products that are now included in the vehicle price. Customers can get a view of what the products entail and whether these products suit the individual needs. So what does this mean in practical terms? Guidelines aim to, first of all, promote customer choice when it comes to independent service providers who service, repair and repair without losing a warranty. It also promotes entry into the dealership market through revised manufacturer minimum requirements. Thirdly, it promotes the use of independent service providers used by insurance for auto body repairs, also without losing the warranty. And lastly, but not least importantly, it promotes the inclusion and use of non-original parts in certain instances. What are some of the ways in which a customer can be a truly responsible vehicle owner? First of all, comprehensive insurance cover absolutely imperative that you you understand that if it sounds too good it is too good and you know th there's just no way one insurance company can cover an asset or a vehicle like for like for a, for a follow premium so my advice is be very comfortable in, in asking those questions um, when insuring your vehicle secondly service and maintenance you know service and maintain your vehicle regularly to avoid unnecessary damage perhaps consider purchasing a motor plan as that is a good way to, to keep control of additional costs of owning a vehicle. And thirdly, and, and I, I suppose very importantly as well, is, is always use approved parts um, to avoid accidents, warranty claims and, and regular or frequent repairs to your car. You know, with what we've just gone through as a country and, you know, with the pandemic as it is, um, I strongly suggest that you, you consider credit life cover. This ensures that the outstanding balance on your loan will be paid off in cases such as loss of income, dread disease, and, and obviously death. And then lastly, I would, I would strongly, strongly recommend the audience, should your financial circumstances, circumstances change, um, speak to your financier. Repossessing the vehicle will not solve your debt. Now, is there anything that consumers might not know about, but definitely need to be aware of? It is extremely important to note that certain decisions may affect the vehicle and potentially the vehicle finance. For example, using parts that don't meet the OEM specifications may cause the customer to lose the manufacturer's warranty of the vehicle. The parts used in servicing or repairs should never compromise the vehicle's integrity. It's critically important to remember that. Where can customers find out more about these guidelines? Customers can get more information on the guidelines by con contacting the Competition Commission or their financiers. I'm sure either would be more than willing to help. Um, and obviously, therefore, the customer can stay informed and can always make the right decisions. Buying and owning a vehicle is a long-term decision, and we want to help ensure that you make an informed one. Thanks very much for watching, and look out for the next videos in this series.